First, we're going to watch the whole scene and I'll explain the context. Then, I'll give you the literal translation of the expression and its meaning in this situation. After that, we'll watch it again without subtitles. Keep watching to learn how to speak like a native. Now let's start! In this scene, Isabella is frustrated venting to her friend about her day at work and her frustrations regarding her position in the club. She talks about the inequality she faces in the club and her desire to prove herself as a capable leader. Quiere ser la presidenta del club. Her friend tries to support and motivate her. Now let's break it down to expand your book up. ¿Qué pedo, mami? So, literal translation, pedo is fart. But, 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 but... For this word, context is everything. Pedo can be a problem. Tiene un pedo. Being drunk. Ya ando bien pedo. A fight or a conflict. Se armó un pedo. A complaint. ¿Cuál es tu pedo? A greeting. ¿Qué pedo, carnal? Or a gathering with drinks. Una peda. Also to be alert. Estar al pedo. Or in great condition. A puro pedo. I know it can be a lot of meanings. Don't get frustrated. You'll get it someday. Practice is everything. Now stay with me to keep on learning. In this case, que pedo could be translated to what's up or even to what the heck is happening to you? Did you hear one of the girls saying no mames? So the literal translation of this is don't suck. But in a figurative meaning can be don't mess around or are you kidding me? Let's take the phrase no sabes el pinche día en la oficina way. No sabes el pinche día en la oficina. Pinche. Pinche is one of the top 10 Mexican slang words <laughs> that here in this context adds emphasis and frustration to the phrase. It can roughly be translated as damn. No sabes el pinche día en la oficina, güey. You don't know, you don't have idea what a damn day was at the office, dude. So, dude, way. Way commonly used among friends is super informal. It's similar to the English word dude or buddy. Ahora, let's jump to another expression of this same scene. Perdón, pero a mí no me van a poner la plata en segunda mesa. Perdón. Excuse me, pero a mí no me van a poner, but they're not going to put me como plato de segunda mesa. This phrase literally translates to as a second table dish. It is an idiomatic expression meaning to be treated as inferior or less important, like being put at a secondary position. Her friend recognizes that they both know that Chava Isabella's brother is not ready to be the president of Club de Cuervos, of the club. And eventually he will mess up. And I like this moment because she's saying that in the best Mexican way. Tarde o temprano la va a cagar. Tarde o temprano la va a cagar. The word cagar is to shit, is used metaphorically here to express the idea of failure. 
tarde o temprano, sooner or later, la va a cagar. Screw it up. Hold on here. Let me give you my consejo, my advice for the new words you are learning. Repeat them out loud. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Okay? Ah, bueno, listo. Vas a escribir el discurso más padrote que puedas. You're going to write the speech más padrote que puedas. Padrote. But this word comes from father. Placing it here, padrote has a whole different meaning. Mexicans use the word padre to say that something is awesome or cool. Ah, tu padre. Les enseñas lo líder que eres y las bonitas chiches que tienes. <laughs> Les enseñas lo líder que eres. You show them the leader that you are y las bonitas chichis que tienes. And you show them the nice teats that you have. No tengo paciencia para largo plazo. Me caga esperar a que las cosas sucedan. She says, no tengo paciencia a largo plazo. I don't have patience for long term. She uses me caga in a figurative way. I hate wanting for things to happen. Me caga esperar. Con este güey al volante no tienes que esperar nada. No te vayas, güey. Tres madrazos más. Mi madre. Con este güey al volante no tienes que esperar nada. Al volante means in charge of the steering wheel. The friend reminds her that with Chava in charge, she won't have to wait for anything. This scene finishes with her friend saying, No te vayas güey, tres madrazos más. Madrazos comes from the word madre, mother in Spanish. However, in this context, madrazos refers to physical blows, hits, or punches. Ahora sí, let's watch the scene again, but this time without subtitles. Sin subtítulos. ¿Qué pedo? Ya, ya, ya. Te dio miedo, te dio miedo. Son mis músculos, ya sé, ya sé. No sé si el pinche día en la oficina. Pero vas a hablar, o sea, no entiendo por qué te estresas. No, mi madre. Perdón, pero a mí no me van a poner de plata a segunda mesa. A ver, las dos sabemos que Chava no está listo para ser presidente. Tal o temprano la va a cagar. Tú espérate y te vas ganando el puesto poco a poco. Llevo 15 años ganándome el puesto poco a poco, güey. Y se lo van a dar a Chava porque yo no tengo un par de huevos. Es que qué necia. A ver, ¿estás poniendo atención? ¿No estás poniendo atención? Sí, a ver, ¿qué? Vas a escribir el discurso más padrote que puedas. Vas a la junta de consejo, uh -huh. se lo presentas, les enseñas lo líder que eres y las bonitas chiches que tienes. Entonces todos nos van a ver lo, 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 o sea, lo líder que eres, güey. Entonces va a llegar este güey y la va a cagar y todo el mundo te va a quedar a ver a ti para que lo salve. No tengo paciencia para largo plazo, wey. Me caga esperar a que las cosas sucedan. Con este güey al volante no tienes que esperar nada, no te vayas, güey. Tres madrazos más. Mi madre.